I will keep sending my medicines to you. There are so many such doctors. We have to be very careful, beloved people of God. And the Lord says here, they say peace, peace, while they were not really ministering peace to their lives. And what do we see in chapter 7? Now chapter 7 and verse 1. Jeremiah chapter 7 and verse 1. The word came unto Jeremiah from the Lord saying, Stand in the gate of the Lord's house. I was wondering why he has to stand at the gate. Because the line of the doctors in the house of God was so long that Jeremiah's place was at the last of the line at the gate. Yeah. Gate then the Lord said, Jeremiah, you stand at the gate and declare here only. <laughs> Don't go inside. You see the reality, all these quick doctors who are inside, they had no message, they had only an ointment to apply on the outside, had no real cure with them, but they were all inside and people were rushing to them. But poor Jeremiah was standing at the door of the house. Yeah. And he says, Jeremiah, you will never get the pulpit. <laughs> that, is, that is not going to be your place. The pulpits will be dealt by the theologians. You will never get an invitation to go there. You stand at the gate. And as the people will come, you just shout unto them and tell my burden. I believe even today that is the condition of the true ministry. In order to, to meet with the true ministries, there will be no rush. Yeah, we see that they are outside, they are not a wanted people. But you know one thing the Lord said to, to, to Jeremiah here to say, verse 4, he said, trust not in lying words. In lying words. In lying words. Do not trust in the lying words. Where they were preaching this? <laughs> in the temple of the Lord. There are so much of lies being taught today. Man's Man invented stories are being taught in the churches today. You know what the Lord says here? Jeremiah, please tell my people. Don't trust in these lying words. You know what is the greatest lie today that people believe? Listen. We are also the glorious church. Hambi. Mahima Yukta Kalisiya Mehe. Hambi. I am also a part of the glorious church. Or maybe everywhere people say tonight Jesus will come we all will go the pastor with veto power and the opposition all will go with it but I'm sure it is not going, with, going to be with Jesus that they will go be careful Many people say, we are also the church. We are also the bride. 
This is what the children of Israel said. और यही इस्राएल लोगों ने कहा. The temple of the Lord, the temple of the Lord. के परमेश्वर का मंदिर, परमेश्वर का मंदिर. Know what the Lord said? और प्रभु ने क्या कहा? Do not trust in these lying words. और इन झूठे शब्दों पर विश्वास न करो. Don't trust in these lying words. और इन झूठे शब्दों पर भरोसा न करो. Beloved brothers and sisters, our dear brothers and sisters, there is so much of lies that are being spoken and taught today in the churches. Our Kalisiyaon ke andar churcheon ke andar baat sa jhoot prachar kiya ja raha hai. And the Lord said, "Where to through Jeremiah was? Do not trust in these lying words." Our Parmeshir ka vachan Jeremiya ke dwara ye tha ki in jhoote shabdo par vishwas. Words eight we read like this. Aatma vachan is prakar se ampar. Behold, you trust in lying words that cannot profit. और तुम उन झूठी बातों पर विश्वास करते हो जो तुम्हें कोई लाभ नहीं दे सकती ओ बिलावर ब्रदर्स एंड सिस्टर्स प्रिय भाई और बहनों यू नो वी आल्सो हैव टू बी वेरी केयरफुल और हमने भी सावधान होना है यू नो समटाइम्स वी गो इनटू रॉन्ग फीलिंग्स और बहुत सी बार हम गलत एहसासों में पड़ जाते हैं बिकॉज़ वी आर कमिंग टू द चर्च और इसलिए कि हम चर्च में आते हैं बिकॉज़ वी हैव सम गुड मैसेजेस और अच्छे संदेशों को बिकॉज़ वी गिव अवर टाइट्स और इसलिए कि अपना दस मान बिकॉज़ वी गो फॉर ऑल द मीटिंग्स और सारी सभाओं में हम शामिल होते हैं या देन आई एम अ पार्ट ऑफ द बॉडी और मैं भी उस देह का एक अंग हूं वी हैव हर्ड वेरी क्लियरली और हमने स्पष्ट रूप से इन ऑर्डर टू बी अ पार्ट ऑफ दैट ग्लोरियस चर्च दैट ही इज बिल्डिंग और उस महिमा युक्त कलीसिया का भाग बनने के लिए दैट वी नीड टू बी अ People who will grow on and move on in that in the in in that word that Lord is giving unto us. And we are such people who need to grow in the word of God and move on in that in in that word that Lord is giving unto us. And so let us not be you know deceiving ourselves. And so let us not be you know deceiving ourselves. Yeah, saying that we are the body and body of Christ, while we are not obedient to God's word in our lives. Or ye kehte hain ki hum Prabhu ki deh hain, parantu apne jivno mein Parmeshwar ke vachan ka palan nahi karte. Oh, we have to be very careful, beloved. Or isliye humne bahut saavdhan hona hai. Yeah, we can only be built up and be a part of the body when we will obey what God is showing to us. When we will walk in obedience to His voice. Or uski deh ke baad tabhi ban sakte hain, jab ki jo Parmeshwar ka vachan hume milta hai, uske upar hum chale aur uska palan kare. There is a wound. और एक घाव है देयर इज अ वून द स्क्रिप्चर से और वचन कहता है कि एक घाव है द बैक स्लाइडिंग द रूइंस ऑफ द चर्च टुडे इज कंपेयर टू अ वून व्हिच नीड टू बी हील्ड और कलीसिया का चर्च का पीछा हटना और पीछे मुड़ना जो या गिरना जो है वो एक घाव के रूप में परमेश्वर बता एंड ऑल दीस प्रॉफिट्स एंड प्रीस दे वर नॉट एबल टू हील इट बट दे वर हीलिंग देम लाइटली सुपरफिशियली और ये जितने भविष्यवक्ता और प्रचारक थे वो उसको चंगा नहीं कर सके परंतु बाहरी रूप से उसकी टर्न विद मी आइजाया चैप्टर वन एंड वर्स सिक्स प्लीज आइजा की पुस्तक पहला अध्याय और छठा वचन फ्रॉम द सोल ऑफ द फ्रूट इवन अंडर द हेड देयर इज नो साउंडनेस इन इट बट वूंड्स एंड ब्रूइसेस एंड 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 प्यूट्रीफाइंग सोर्स दे हैव नॉट बीन क्लोज्ड नाइदर बाउंड अप नाइदर मॉलिफाइड विद ऑइलमेंट और यहां आइजाया कहता है छह और एक में कि उसके सिर से लेके पांच के एक और छह में वन वर्स सिक्स आइजा चैप्टर वन वर्स सिक्स और आइजा एक और छह में कि उसके ताव सिर सिर से लेके पांव के तने तक गहरे घाव और सड़ने वाले थोड़े हैं जिनसे के बदबू आती है और जिन्हें कभी ढाका नहीं गया और कभी उसका इलाज नहीं किया सो वी सी दैट द बैक स्लाइडिंग कंडीशन इज हियर सीन और शोन एज अ वूम दैट इज Not healed. और यहाँ पर हम देखते हैं वो पीछे हटने या गिरने की स्थिति जो है वो घाव के रूप में बतलाई गई जिसका कि इलाज नहीं हुआ. You know, so we see that the Lord is also concerned about this wound. और हम देखते हैं कि प्रभु भी इसके विषय में चिंतित हैं. You know, it's like you know you have a child who is not healed. और ऐसा है कि एक बच्चा आपका हो और जिसको कि चंगाई प्राप्त. How much you will be concerned about the healing? और उसकी चंगाई के लिए आप कितनी चिंतित होंगे? And I believe even so the Lord is concerned about the healing in the body of Christ. और इसी प्रकार से मेरा विश्वास है कि प्रभु भी चिंतित है कि प्रभु की देख के अंदर इस चंगाई. But the 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 failure has been that today people are not concerned about this healing, but they are all concerned about going away. और असफलता इस कारण से है कि लोग चिंतित नहीं है कि वो इस चंगाई को प्राप्त कर सके परंतु वो चिंतित है यहाँ से जाने के लिए। You know they are also caught up with activities। और वो भी बहुत से कार्यों में व्यस्त हैं। They are running here and there to win souls। और वो भी भाग दौड़ कर रहे हैं ताकि प्राणों को। To make many more people sick like them। और बहुत से लोगों को अपनी तरह बीमार कर ले। And introduce them to these doctors। और उन सबों को इन डॉक्टर के सामने ले आए। That is what is happening, beloved people of God। और यही सब कुछ आज हो रहा है प्रमेश्वर के प्रिय जन। But there is a 
burden in the heart of God. There is a burden in the heart of God. And I think that God is wanting us to come under this burden that we may be people like Jeremiah in these days. Turn with me to Jeremiah chapter 30. Jeremiah chapter 30 and verse 12. Yeah, he says, the Lord says, For thus saith the Lord, thy bruise is incurable, and thy wound is grievous. There is none to plead thy cause. There is none to plead thy cause that thou mayest be bound up. Thou hast no healing medicines. Yeah? Praise God. There is none to plead thy cause that thou mayest be bound up. Thou hast no healing medicines. और कोई नहीं जो तेरे मामले की वकालत करे या तेरे उस घाव को चंगाई दे या दवा दे What a terrible condition. <coughs> That's what we see today. Yeah. There is none to plead her cause. Everybody is busy in making their own cisterns, broken cisterns. No one is there to call on God. To plead her cause. That she may be raised up back again. Yeah, we see then again. Let's turn on to chapter 23 of Jeremiah. Jeremiah chapter 23. Now the Lord wants to minister this to us that we, we may know the truth for ourselves and be burdened in this land. That this truth will set you and me free from sin and bondage and we will be a people for him. You know, turn again, 23 verse 9 onwards, my heart within me is broken because of the prophets. See that? The Lord says, my heart within me is broken because of the prophets. All my bones shake. I am like a drunken man. Like a man whom why not overcome because of the Lord and because of the words of His holiness. This is the experience of Jeremiah and says, For the land is full of adulterers. For because of swearing the land mourneth, the pleasant places of wilderness are dried up. And their course is evil, and their force is not right. Verse 11, For both prophet and priest are profane. Yea, in my house have I found their wickedness, saith the Lord. The Lord says, Now these prophets have gone, and he says, The Lord is really broken about it. And Parmeshwar says that they are in the world of the world. Verse 14 I have seen also in the prophets of Jerusalem a horrible thing. They come in adultery and walk in lies. They strengthen also the hands of evildoers that none that return from his wickedness. So we see that these people who ought to heal her wounds they themselves have gone after their own will and desire.